Hello, I would like to talk to you about something that's on my mind. Um, I'm just I'm going through um, what I've written so far of, um, of the Jeremiah School, and uh, so far I've gotten to the, gotten to the point where uh, where students enter into the school and they're uh, they're sort they're sorted out into various house houses. Uh, Sort of like, sort of like, um, what happens in uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, or Americans, what Americans call uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, it, I purposely r r wrote the uh, like the first few chapters uh, of of that uh, of of my story to be be sort of like. Uh, like, like the early part of um, that, that Harry Potter story, and it's like, uh, uh and it's like, uh, I can't wait to write on um, other parts of the story. Although it's gonna be a little, a little more difficult because, uh, I'm. I'm trying to learn th things that'll help me write on, uh, write, write, write a better story, and it's the, uh, I mean, like, um, like what is a prophet? Because that's that's the first thing that um, I think the kids really, r kids at that school really need to know. I mean, <laughs> and they they hear the word prophet and. Uh, and and they is like uh they have no clue what what that um word even means and uh and any, anyway um I'm gonna share I'm gonna share what it says um and in, in B, the Bing search engines on um, AI um. A prophet is someone chosen by God to speak for God. Biblically speaking, a prophet is someone who receives a word from God and is authorized to communicate this divine message to another. The primary ministry of a prophet is to speak God's truth and warnings to the people. Prophets may also foretell the future if God gives them a prophecy. And uh, I think that pro probably that sums up uh, what a prophet is, and it's like, uh, of course, of course, um, I like like to give some some examples of uh, those who are called prophets in in the uh, in the Bible, like like. Okay, why is Abraham called a prophet? <laughs> um, Abraham is recognized as a great prophet among believers in the monotheistic faiths such as Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. In um, Judaism, he is the founding father of the special relationship between the Jews and God. In Christianity, he is the spiritual progenitor of all believers, whether Jewish or non-Jewish, and in Islam he is a link in the chain of Islamic prophets that begins with Adam and culminates in Muhammad. Abraham is called a prophet because of his faith, trust, and obedience to and in Jehovah, and because of Jehovah's promises to him and to his seed. Yeah. Yeah. There there's the, um, what, what, the, here, yeah, that's the, that's the first time I ever, you ever hear of anyone being called a prophet in the Bible, and it's like, like, um, Abraham is called a prophet when he, when he goes, he goes into Philistine territory and, uh, 
cells in Gerard, and uh, he, tell, he tells people that uh, he has he has his wife tell people that she, she's his sister and not not his wife, so so that his life is spared. And then King Abimelech uh, take. T t takes her as part of his harem, and uh, it's like, and God's like, you are a dead man because that is another man's wife, and it's like, and I didn't like didn't even touch her, and it's like, are you gonna kill, are you gonna kill me along with on? Because I didn't, I didn't even touch that one. It's like, I. I pre and God is like, I prevented you from touching that one. That's why you're not going to get killed. Now restore this. Now restore this man, his wife, for her, for he is a prophet, and he'll pray for you, or else, or else, you and your household are going to die. Yeah. And of course, from from what we've seen, and. Uh, Well, what we've seen of um, Abraham's life when when he uh, went to sacrifice uh, Isaac Isaac on the altar, or when he was called to sacrifice Isaac on the altar, and, and someone's asking, "Where's the lamb for the burnt offering?" and and uh, Abraham says says um, and, and prophetically. God will provide the lamb for the burnt offering. I mean, I mean, and um, of course, a ram appears in the pla place of a lamb. But I think Abraham was talking about um, Jesus Christ. I mean, because because uh, Jesus uh, mentions. Um, Abraham saw saw the day that the day that the Christ would come, and and he was glad, and and this made um this this made his listeners saying, "You're not even yet fifty years old, and you've seen Abraham, and he was like, assuredly I tell you, before Abraham was, I am," and that nearly got him stuck. If it weren't for the fact that he um, ended up escaping, <laughs> yeah. So, I like to, would like to bring up like Abraham, his, his faith, and it's like uh, that that he foretold foretold the coming of uh, of Jesus Christ, and uh, And I'd like to mention other other prophets. I mean, there's, there, I mean Noah is pro, pro, probably a prophet because he heard from God that um, that he that God's going to flood the earth, and uh, he was to build build an ark and um, for, for himself, his family, and for all the creatures that. That God wanted to save, and of course, Scripture says that Noah was a preacher of righteousness. So I, so that pretty much says to me that um, Noah was pretty much pre preaching to the world while while he was um, building the ark, and like any other other people were like laughing at him and stuff. <laughs> you know, it's not gonna. Rain, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh yes, it is. It, it, it's going to rain eventually soon. <laughs> you, you just wait, and you better be prepared." <laughs> uh, anyway, I got um eye doctor appointment today, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be out for. for for um, most most of the morning and uh, pretty much pretty much early afternoon. So <sighs> have a good day, folks, and may God bless you.